Hey, what's cracking, everybody? This is Linux Hub here. And I'm here to show you guys a installer that I've put together for uh, Arch Linux. Um, you know, most uh, graphical installers for Arch Linux use the uh, Calamari's installer. And uh, there are a few distros out there that use their own uh, custom installer. And uh, what I have here is a custom installer for the Arch Linux systems. So um, on all of my respins, what I do is uh, I use OpenBox as the live ISO. And then on your system, it'll be whatever system you choose to install. But what I want to show you here is that this is an installer that is not the Calamari's installer. It is something uh, custom that I put together and could be basically used on any system. So uh, I'm going to show you how the installer works. So uh, let's go through it and uh, see how it all works. So right here we have a uh, begin installation. So we just click on this button and we have right here, add username. All right, next option is add user password. Next option is add root password. And then I also have a custom script in here for auto login. So you get a window that says enable auto login. You have, of course, yes and no. I'm going to select yes just for the ease of the video. And then on the next window that appears, it basically tells you what all you have to configure. So right here was basically highlighted as disk configuration and time zone. So in most cases, these are basically the only things you need to configure. However, if you need to configure the language, the mirrors, the locales, Anything to you may be in another country, so you might have to change the locales and the mirrors. If you need to do that, go ahead and do that. You can do that. But in most cases, all you have to edit is going to be the disk configuration and the time zone. So we'll click on continue and we'll do that. OK, and here's the arch install script right here. And I've set it up uh, to remove all of the uh, other settings that are, are not required here for for my respins. But of course, you don't have to remove those on your respin. I did it for my respins because they're not required just to avoid confusion on other settings. So right here, I'm just going to go straight down to disk configuration and I'm going to use the best effort default partition layout. And then I'm going to select my hard drive. And then I'm going to use ext4. You can use either one of these settings. I'm going to use ext4 and I'm going to select yes for the uh, home. Uh, and then I'm going to go straight to time zone. So time zone, I'm going to do a search for Los Angeles and I'm going to select that. And that's pretty much it. Go straight to install. All right here. And then hit enter one more time. And then now the Arch install script is going to go through its installation. And this is going to install everything from Arch and also what I have accustomed it to install. All right. So I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video. And then when we come back, we'll see the other part. And once everything is installed, you're prompted with a window here. And in the window, it says installation complete. You may now reboot your system. So we'll go ahead and reboot. OK, and the system has rebooted. And as you can see, when we use the installer, it was using open box. But in this case, this was uh, the installer for the GNOME, uh, the GNOME desktop environment, which is actually something I'm actually working on right now. It's not even on my website yet. It's actually uh, I'm actually uh, doing this video on the test right here on one of the respins that I'm making. But anyways, I just wanted to show you how the installer works and uh, get on your system. So this is a uh, a Arch Linux installer that does not use the Calamari's installer and it's all done from a live CD and from the desktop environment. So uh, if it's something you wanna take a look at, uh, you can definitely take a look at it. Uh, let me uh, open up my website so you can see. So I'll open up Firefox. And this website will be down in the video description. So it'll be uh, linuxhub.link. Okay, and we're here on the website now. And you can see right here that uh, these are the respins that I have made for Arch Linux. So we have a XFCE, we have Cinnamon, we have Mate, we have a Plasma 6, we have Openbox, and we have Deepin. Uh, there are going to be more coming. Like I said, this system right now that I'm using here is actually the GNOME 
and I'm actually uh, using this to practice, uh, make sure everything's working uh, okay on this system. And uh, once this one is completed, I'll be adding this gnome to the list also. And then there'll be others down the line. But anyways, uh, for all you testers and coders out there, all the code that are on these ISOs are in this directory right here. So this is this directory that's going to give you all that you need to work with. So inside of the user local share scripts in the, in the home directory, well, you can see right here, it says home, ISO, relaying, AirRootFS, et cetera, scale, local, share, scripts. And there are two folders in there mainly that you need to look at. One is LH installer and the other one is LH builder. Really the LH builder, that, that's, that's just because on my system, you can actually build your own system. So if you're not worried about the building another system, then you could just not worry about the builder folder. You want to worry about the LH installer folder and everything that that's, uh, makes this happen and how it works is in that folder. So you would check the files, mainly look at the, there's a file in there called move. Look at that fo at that file and it'll pretty much explain, uh, how everything's moved around and how your system is being, uh, worked. So it's all mainly in the move folder. And then there's other, there's like login files called login, login one, auto login. Those are just to, uh, if you want to set up your, uh, auto login and things like that. Uh, but mainly the move file is the file you want to take a look at because that moves everything around to get your system, uh, installed the way you want it. All right. And like I said, these are the versions that are available now. So we have the XFCE, we have the cinnamon, we have the Mate version, we have the open box version, we have the plasma six version, and we have the deep end builder. So the deep end basically uses a deep end desktop environment. All right. And there are other downloads on here also. So if you click on here to pretty much give you all of the downloads. Uh, you know, a lot of the downloads on this page are actually not categorized. So, uh, but you have right here, these are some, uh, these don't have the builder on them themselves. So these are just, uh, the desktop environments and that's it. And then I also have some that are based on Linux Mint and these are the legacy builds, which, uh, I'm not working on those anymore, but there is a section called all releases and all of my, uh, ISOs are actually on here. Everything that I've built is on here. All right, but the ones that are actually working great are the builder series. And like I said, you could use these just as a regular uh, system yourself, or if you want to use it to build a new system, you can also do that. I got plenty of videos out there on how to build your own system. So uh, if you just look at my uh, videos, you'll be able to find videos on how to build your own uh, respin with your, you know, with your customizations and everything. All right. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that, uh, you can install Arch Linux without the uh, Calamari's installer from a graphical environment. All right, you guys. All right. I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm out.